Thanks, Ire uh, Wordsmith, for this week. I mentioned that artists have been dishing us intriguing solo exhibitions, and today we have The Things the Madman Saw, an exhibition by Joseph Ebede in Lagos. The title is enough to awaken anyone's curiosity, but the artist, Joseph Ogbede, who crafted it for his latest solo exhibition, wanted the conversation to start right from the caption, and a book inspired him to toe the line. The title for this exhibition is um, The Things the Madman Saw, um, inspired by a book written by my friend Tunde Yateru um, called um, The Day the Madman Knew. Um, the book was a political satire um, that sort of shows what happens when um, we allow bad governance to um, take over uh, a community, country, or, or any institution, in, in all honesty. So 2020 um, gave everybody, I think, um, a lot of time to think about um, issues and think about things. And um, to me, I started to see that people across the world were beginning to speak up for issues in governance that um, they would otherwise not have um, considered. And then I sort of localized it just down to like Africa, which is where I live. And then um, it's all about the things that actually happen on a day-to-day -day basis that we actually take to be normal and that are, that are totally not normal at all. And then it made me to reflect on the fact that, I mean, so like for every Nigerian, you walk on the road on a daily basis. I, I think you see a mad person on at, at least um, on an average once a week just walking on the road. And then you ask yourself, where, does it, where is this person going to? Um, how does this person think? What, what does this person see? And to me, I, I, I think that um, a person who has those kind of issues is uh, in a constant hallucination of some sort. And, and, and that reality is what's normal to him, but to the rest of us is not normal. So when you think about the ills in the society that we live in, that are even more uh, present than what you consider to be a sane society, it just shows that if we take these things to be normal, then we're not, I don't think we're normal ourselves. His recent body of work, Colorful, has a lot of inscriptions on them that speak to the feelings of many people. Those they choose to voice out, their silent groanings and dreams that have been cut short. The key thing I try to do with my work is to deconstruct um, human feelings or what it means to be human to the very, very basics. Uh, and, 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 and that just means me not trying to um, create figurative paintings or work that is um, very, very, that seems closer to reality, but what I try to identify are the emotions, and then like, if you can identify those emotions, what it does is that it highlights what's common between me, you, and everyone else, as against painting a man or a woman, what you see are figures, and then you can now say, okay, you know what, I have this feeling that this is what this is, and then you can actually bring yourself into, into the painting. To provide more insight about these human emotions he has revealed on canvas, the artist explains some of the images on display and all the body of work titled in Pidgin English which convey the message better. For this entire body of work, everything is titled in Pidgin uh, because when you think about a crazy person, what you, I, don't, I don't think, maybe it's me, but I don't think that anybody thinks, considers that to be, speaks about it in, a, in pure English. You're just like, oh, Christmas they pass or, we, 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 or something like that. So, um, I've titled all the works in Pigeon. Um, the first one down the road there is um, titled um, Nobody Holy You. So um, when I think about how we chart the course of our days, so it's determined by like sun, sunlight and sunsets, uh, daybreak and evenings, right? Uh, sun, sunrise and sunsets, yeah. And then the sun is the commonality between the two of them. And what I've done with that is to, to sort of depict um, sunrise on one end sunset on the other end and then put a figure as against putting the sun and then to ask us like that character the characters that we form our ideologies on 
who are they? Have we actually interrogated their motives? How do we accept these people to be who we want to create or enable the values that we now take to be ours? And I, I think it's very important that everybody sort of um, questions how they've come to be who they are and the values that we seem to have as, uh, as, as, uh, as, as people. Um, and that's very much from my upbringing. I had a father who would always say, um, are you thinking about why you think about the things you think about? And I think that that's very, very important for everybody. You must learn to interrogate um, things. What makes this particular body of work different is in his exploration of other mediums as opposed to his usual techniques. So we have text, which is quite true in Joseph's works, because Joseph usually expresses his figures in a simple line. And he likes this idea of how a line can communicate various things. And with him, he's not just looking at the line, he's looking at representation with the face. But in this particular scenario, he's introducing things like text, things like colors, like he has a different, which I told him, a different color polychromy scheme that is going on in this work site. It's quite different from his previous bodies of work, which I'm very excited for because the way he plays with the colors is, it's a bit ingenious to see someone use colors in the way that you know that the person can make use of those sort of colors. This work is truly, it's almost borderline, uh, it's, it's protest art, like it is, it's, it's almost not artistic, but I mean obviously it's art, it's art but uh, the colors, the motifs, uh, the message is very clear. It is clear commentary on this state of state of affairs, if you would, um, about Nigeria today. Um, all the the dissatisfaction, the build up of unrest, um, the the questions that we have asked for many years that are still unanswered are very clearly and starkly depicted uh, in in his work. If you go back in history. I'm um, half Edo, and then you think about Bini art, and then what it's, it's always sought to represent the idea of a thing as against being very, very figure, uh, true to life in terms of how you capture the figure. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that part of my history, um, and um, I, I think I, I'm telling that in a modern way, or in a way that is accessible to um, the time I live in. So um, much of my inspiration comes from that, and um, and I, I and I hope that I'm actually doing some I'm con I say doing some sort of justice to um, the history that I've come from, and I hope I'm I'm actually like I mean telling the stories that that need to be told. The artist believes that how people interact ends up forming the way they are, but if the value system is better, then ultimately this will reflect in the world which will become a better place.